This clip is to predict the electron group geometry and the molecular geometry of uh, each molecule or ion. There are different names for uh, electron group geometry. Um, some textbooks may call them electron pair geometry, electron domain geometry. So anyway, so here basically is just focusing on the electrons, regardless whether they are bonding electrons or non-bonding electrons, all right? So the molecular geometry is just focusing on the bonding electrons, actually, or focusing on those atoms. That's why this is about the shape of molecules. Let's take a look at this one. Um, this is a silicon pentabromide polyatomic ion. Okay, so in order to find out the geometry, whether electron group geometry or molecular geometry, so first we have to uh, draw the Lewis structure of this uh, polyatomic ion. Okay, in order to draw the Lewis structure, we have to find out the total number of valence electrons in this entire formula. Okay, so silicon has four valence electrons in group 4A. Uh, bromine has uh, seven electrons, valence electrons, and we have five of them. And this negative one charge means it gained one more electron. So, yeah, again, four for silicon, and then seven for bromine, and then one for the negative one charge. Then total we have 40 electrons. Now let's draw the uh, skeleton structure. Okay, silicon, we have only one silicon, so that has to be the central atom, and then five single bonds, each connecting silicon and bromine. All right, so the next will assign the remaining valence electrons to the surrounding atoms first to satisfy the octet rule, now it's 8 for this bromine, so we'll do the same for all 5 bromine. Okay, so, yeah, then how many electrons total have been assigned so far? That should be each unit here. That's eight, and we have five of such units. Uh, then that's uh, 40 electrons all assigned. Okay, then where does that negative uh, one sign go? Uh, of course, you if you work on uh, um, formal charges, so you will find out it's actually is here for silica. All the others for. Uh, uh, bromine, the all five bromine, they just carry all carry formal charge of zero. Okay, surrounding the central atom, there are five electron groups. There is no lone pair. No lone pair. This is just the negative charge sign. That's not a lone pair. Okay, so. No lone pairs, the electron geometry or electron group geometry that should be the same as the molecular geometry. Okay, so then both electron geometry and the molecular geometry should be the same. Then since there's a five, the shape has to be trigonal by pyramidal. That's for both electron group geometry and also molecular geometry. Okay, so trigonal by pyramidal. If you uh, forgot how trigonal by pyramidal looks like, so that should be like this one. You see that's a, 
uh, three uh, equatorial uh, electron groups, and then two axial. Okay, and here you see for the molecular geometry, since there's no lone pair for the central atom, so a zero lone pair, five bonding pair, that's why both electron domain geometry and the molecular geometry is the same. And here definitely you see that's the axial to uh, bromine atoms. So in the axial position, and then the three in the equatorial position. So that's a uh, trigonal, you see the pyramid, base of the pyramid, that's a, a triangle. And then you have one on top, trigonal pyramidal, one on top, then you have another one on bottom. So that's why it's a trigonal bipyramidal.